So I'm Nathan Bowen, and I'm the executive director of Crystal Lake Camps. To me, Crystal Lake Camps is a camp that excels in creating an environment so the children have individualized care. We have great camp activities, you know, the same camp activities you might find at any camp, but because of our small size and population, we have to strive to find this family feel about camp, and that happens through great individualized care for each child and staff member. The culture is what defines us. You immediately walk into an atmosphere that is surrounded by love. It's more than just a group of friends getting together. It's truly a family. So the moment that a child comes, they are welcomed and made to know that they matter. Chris Lake Camps is uh, in north central Pennsylvania. We're up in the mountains. We have on property 25 miles worth of trails that go over 900 acres. It's a completely different experience to be out in the middle of the woods. I believe it really helps the kids to learn about the different elements in the forest. Not only their names, but how they all work together in one living web. When they start understanding that, they see more than just trees. And so they, they gain an appreciation for that. It's a terrific environment for kids to feel safe to try things. And everybody has a commitment to Christian science. I guess that's kind of the, the catalyst or the glue that, that makes this all work. Our number one goal is to make sure the kids get a chance to grow in their understanding of Christian science. They ought to have fun and be having a really good, adventuresome couple of weeks while they're here. But at the end of the day, they need to understand even just a little bit more about what it is to be a child of God as we understand and learn in Christian science. I would certainly describe Crystal Lake as a very inclusive and family-like atmosphere. It's definitely indifferent on who you are, where you've come from, very accepting. There's Christian scientists all around the world and it's just so awesome that they can all connect to this one place. A third of camp comes from overseas, outside of uh, North America. You've got people from Mexico, from Turkey, Russia. There's a real international cast to this, to this experience and that provides a world view to some of these kids who wouldn't have it otherwise. And like the place and the people here are so like loving. I just love it so much. You're all connected here. There's no cliques or anything like that. It's just everyone together as a tight knit group. I describe Crystal Lake Camp as somewhere that you can go to be removed from the influences of the world and just really focus on who you are. Honestly, it's also a place where you can really grow closer to God and go through that spiritual development. You don't have to worry about being judged. You can just be yourself freely, which is really awesome. You can't do that in a lot of places. So at camp here, we have multiple different programs. Our main camp, which is the main focus, allows for kids to take four different classes throughout the day. They also get to pick a fifth period, which is something different, something fun, can be goofy, can be serious, just something a little bit different every single day. The kids sign up for their classes on the second day of camp, and we have an assembly fair. And so the counselors that are teaching the classes put on these little skits to demonstrate what their class is going to be. It's just so much fun because no matter what class you take, you know you're going to learn something about yourself, and you know you're going to have so much fun. Because of Crystal Lake, the namesake of the organization, we have a lot of water-based activities, so swimming, canoeing, kayaking, and even sailing from time to time. Some of my favorite activities are swimming in the lake every day because it's just so beautiful and the environment surrounding you is just like a beautiful place to be. Now we have like this water mat and like everyone can get on it and like sometimes it goes down and like it's just so much fun. I like the overnights where we go into the woods with just our hiking packs and stuff we pack. When I wake up, I'm always so excited to go to the stables and start horse riding because I just feel that I've had a special connection with each of the horses. The horses are so nice and like there's um, different horses for all different levels of riding. So whether you're a first time rider or you ride for a long time, there's always a place for you there. 
I love the high ropes course. It's also like the perfect safe place to get outside of your comfort zone because um, right in front of you, there there's an obstacle. But seeing campers get really excited and like conquer that fear is beautiful to watch. And it's also really near and dear to me because I just love climbing. And then in a two week session, there are special activities that happen besides the routine of classes. I definitely get um, really pumped for the 4th of July because we're like active the whole day around this whole lake playing like capture the flag and at the end of the day you have like sparklers and fireworks so it's it's really fun. My all-time favorite is World Cup Soccer Day. It's this huge soccer tournament and there's different teams and they'll pick from like different countries so there'll just be um, a random assortment of people for Holland or Poland or Germany or Latvia and it's kind of a cool representation of uh, the many different uh, cultures and people that come to camp. I would say Little Olympics third session is my favorite activity of all time at camp. That's loads of weird wacky games all in a good atmosphere and it's all really good fun. I always look forward to the council fires because it's a huge part of Crystal Lake's history and really taps into the heritage of Crystal Lake camps. They're fun and we do fun things but by the end everybody's reflecting about what camp has been about and it gets them thinking about it in a meaningful way. And so there's no talking from um, the end of council fire to um, breakfast the next morning and it's just it's such an uplifting time. Um, to sort of just reflect on, you know, how you've grown spiritually and to just um, think about all the ways that you've helped other people during the session. Camp was the first time I ever really encountered Christian science in like a youth atmosphere. And so I bring that back home when there might not be as many kids around that are Christian scientists. They get strengthened when they're here, when they see that, and they're, and they're able to take it back and share that with some of their non-Christian science friends or with their families. And uh, I think that's the biggest and best possible takeaway they could have. Every year, the quiet hours in the morning that we have just set me up to have a great day. And every year, I feel like I've grown so much spiritually. The metaphysical time set aside during the day, the first one is quiet hour, where each cabin reads the lesson together. It's just so nice to uh, get that input from lots of other people of different ages, experiences in Christian science. People stage like questions that you would have never thought about, and then it gets you thinking like, what would happen in that situation? Like, what would I do in that situation? And then before each activity, there's a short metaphysical, which is usually a quote from the Bible or science and health. It's good to have that one idea present in mind so that once you feel like you're encountering a challenge, you have something to go straight to. And I think the really essential part of that is that it makes Christian science something tangible for the kids and kind of teaches them how we don't have to do that just at camp. We can take Christian science home with us. And the reason I come back here every year is that I hope I can do for the campers what my counselors gave to me with Christian science. So at camp here, um, we have multiple different programs. The Trailblazer program is a program in nature where you do more difficult stuff. It allows them to go outside their comfort zone to grow and learn about gaining friends and gaining that trust with each other. That really is like the best part of camp, getting to just challenge yourself and put all the stuff you learn daily into use. The next program is Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock is a program that I was in and it is such a great experience. It pushes you physically and mentally so hard, but it's such a great experience and I know anyone could do it. Most often uh, a camper will come and be part of our LT or leadership training class. We go on a canoe trip, a hiking trip, which are each five days long, so it's meant to challenge the campers and push them out of their comfort zones. 
The next and final stage before becoming a counselor is CIT. Whereas the leadership training program is learning how to be a leader, the counselor and training program is learning how to lead children. At age 17 or 18, they may just be a junior counselor, still learning the ropes, still learning some of those things, but then after that, they're in really good shape to be a counselor and to leading kids. When I leave, I'm like, on one side I'm happy that I'm going back home, on the other side, I'm sad because I'm leaving camp, which I don't want to leave because it's really nice here and I have lots of friends here. I always make it a point the last day when kids are going home to tell them to go home and keep walking in the woods and keep looking at things in the forest. What I hope every year sending the kids home is that they go home and they trust themselves enough to know that they can be themselves and be loved for that. And I think that that has been the most valuable part of my experience here and what I really, really hope campers take home with them. After third session and all the campers head home, the staff take some time to get everything reoriented for family camp. Family camp is a one week program, but they pack a lot of stuff into one week, like a talent show, uh, a barn dance. Get to know you games. Yup, clan games, a council fire. It's a perfect time for those younger kids who aren't quite old enough for camp to come and experience what they might get to experience in the future. The first time we came to camp was just like a three day weekend and it was for the purpose of introducing the kids to the camp and for us to see the camp. It really is a very um, special experience and um, I would definitely encourage anyone to come. You can't pass it up. You can't beat it. <laughs> for, on, on all levels, uh, uh, don't let anything stand in your way, you've got to experience it. If I were talking to a first-time camper, somebody that might be nervous about coming to camp, I would tell them that camp is literally the most awesome place because you get to meet Christian scientists from all around the world and overcome fears. My dad signed me up for camp and I was like actually pretty nervous because like I've never been to a sleepaway camp before. But once I got here and once I got to know the people in my cabin, all my counselors, all the staff, I just felt so so welcomed and so happy. The minute that you walk into camp on the first day, you immediately feel surrounded by people that appreciate and love you. It's not like maybe other places like at school. Here you'll just make friends with everyone. Everyone is so supportive and you are just welcomed with a sense of love and joy. It's like everyone is your family, so you connect with like all your brothers and sisters. Jump both feet in, we'll never ever push you away. Don't be afraid to try anything that looks remotely cool. Go out and try your best to get involved in it and there will be a lot of people ready to help you and get you started on that. Think about it like the best person of you that you can think. That's who you are going to be here. So you won't be afraid, you won't be scared, you won't be nervous. It will come naturally to express that version of yourself. Our focus on the family feel is something that everybody wants in their life. And we have a demonstrated history of being able to work and help everyone see great success through that family feel. 